You've heard that Isaac Newton discovered gravity. But did you know he told everyone the moon was falling? Believe it or not, Newton was right. The moon was falling. It still is. And there's no sign that it's going to stop. It's just that the moon's motion is perfectly balanced with the Earth's gravity. And since there's no significant friction in space, the moon just keeps going around and around in its orbit. Now I understand that that might be a hard concept to wrap your head around, so to help explain it, I've brought along my favorite children's book. If you give a luchador an arrow. If you give a luchador an arrow, he'll ask for flames. When you give him the flames, he'll shoot that flaming arrow on his makeshift crossbow, and the Earth's gravity will interact with the arrow's motion to create an arced flight path. When the luchador sees how gravity and motion interact, he'll get excited and ask for another flaming arrow. When he shoots that flaming arrow, he'll give it more speed, giving it a longer and more gradual arc. When he sees this long arc, it'll remind him that the surface of the Earth is curved, and he'll dream of building a crossbow so big and shooting a flaming arrow so fast that its motion interacts with gravity to create an arc so gradual it matches the curvature of the Earth's surface and keeps falling around and around the Earth like the moon does. But when he realizes that air resistance would eventually rob even the fastest arrow of the momentum it needs to stay in perpetual orbit, he'll do the next best thing earn a degree in physics, and become a rocket scientist like BYU alumnus Ed Goldston. Ah, I love that book. In the end, Newton helped us understand that any orbiting body stays up because of gravity, not despite it. Which makes sense when you think about it. If the moon was really free from Earth's gravitational pull, it would just go flying off into space. Aquí terminamos este capítulo, pero verás más ciencias y una oportunidad de hacer investigaciones como estudiante de BYU, véase abajo en la descripción.